Hulu's new series, Mike, Jeff, Finn, 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 can't do it. Let's talk about it. All right, folks, so as I was saying, uh, with my brilliant Mike Tyson impression, uh, Hulu's new series, Mike, has just wrapped up. I don't, you may have not have heard of it because I do think it is a show that has flown under the radar a little bit. But it is, of course, about legendary boxer Mike Tyson. I first heard about this show. Uh, I actually got a the Twitter account, you know, everybody follows, Discussing Film. Great account, by the way, if you are not following it, then you have Twitter. I would a thousand percent recommend that you follow it and turn the notifications on because the amount of news they just bring is remarkable. I get most of my film news from them. Uh, and they posted a trailer for the new Hulu show, Mike. And I had long heard of a Mike Tyson show starring Jamie Foxx. And uh, there's still some word that that might happen uh, with Antoine Fuqua producing and Martin Scorsese, I think, also attached to produce. And I would love to see that because I do think that a different take could be nice for the character because this one is very stylized. I will get into that. But um, I learned about it and I saw Travante Rhodes was attached. And I, of course, know him from Moonlight. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. I love that film. And uh, I was like, you know, what the hell? I'll give it a watch. It seems short. It's eight episodes, 30 minutes a piece. And little did I know that it was two episodes weekly, right? They're dropping two episodes weekly, so finished in four weeks, really a breeze. Uh, And so I checked it out. And uh, immediately I was a little thrown off because I haven't seen I, Tanya. Uh, It is a film I want to see, but apparently it's directed by Craig Gillespie. And uh, I would assume that the style is very similar. It's very rushed, uh, larger than life at parts and the editing is very frantic all over the place and I think that that is just what they were going for and at first it turned me off I was like you know I was hoping for something a little more grounded uh, and I just wasn't really thrilled at the rate the show was going the pacing is off the charts fast here Uh, but once you settle into it you know episode one and two debuted and I was like I don't think I'm going to continue watching it's not worth my time and then I just thought about it and I'm like okay it just feels brisk right? It doesn't feel like you're sitting down to watch a show. It feels like you're just taking in this information all at once. And it is somewhat entertaining. It's like throwing popcorn back or something. It's, it's quick, fast paced, little nuggets of information that also happen to be entertaining. And uh, so I continued. And then I actually do think the two episode, I've never seen a show do that before, two episodes weekly at a time. But I think it worked very well for the show. And I think that's why they did it. Because uh, they, the, the show was sort of spaced out into arcs of Mike Tyson's life. And so you first bit, you get, you know, the training, the beginning, yada, 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 the three and four, the rise, uh, five and six, the fall, seven and eight, the aftermath. And um, it's an interesting dynamic to follow. And Mike Tyson, the show makes very clear, uh, its perspective on Mike Tyson is that he is a complicated individual. Right. And this show actually didn't have the support of Mike Tyson. I'm not sure that's a surprise because it portrays him uh, sympathetically at times, but also as a monster at others. And so because he is a complicated man, I do think the show reveres him somewhat. I do think it has respect for him, but uh, it's certainly not shying away from any darker issues. First of all, massive praise to the actors, but specifically really Trevante Rhodes as Mike Tyson, who gives a phenomenal, uh, really, impersonation of Mike Tyson, first of all, but also adds a lot of depth to this character, struggling with so much at all times. He brings the charm. Uh, he brings the the pain and everything, the rage, the sheer rage he can bring to the role. So I really liked his performance. And then the two things uh, I think are worth touching on is, one, the style and the pacing, because I think they go hand in hand. And uh, I, I mean, I, you wouldn't, you won't know what I'm talking about unless you've seen the show. But it is very, it's narrated by Mike Tyson. So so much of the show is just something happening uh, that's a part of Mike Tyson's life, and it's just quick. It's like snappy. It's uh, it's ridiculously fast, and you're just expected to follow along, to take it in. And uh, the style is also very unique. It's again, it's it's quick, like a camera will zoom super fast to something or will stop abruptly 
uh, at the moment something happens and it's, the editing is trying to catch you off guard. The editing is really doing a lot of work here. And I personally don't love my media that way. I respect what they were going for. I think, it, I think they did a good job at what they were going for, certainly. Uh, but it did throw me off somewhat. And I like this interpretation. I, I, I'm glad that I saw it. But I do not think it is my favorite version of uh, how this story could be told. And specifically at times, I feel like the show, and obviously they're burdened by the whole 30, I think the episodes are 20 minutes actually. Uh, they're burdened by the fact that they have to fit into that time frame and they have to only have eight episodes. But it does make the story suffer at parts because there are certain things that just don't get the time that they deserve. They don't get the focus they deserve. And really, it's impossible to tell a whole man's life uh, over the course of an eight-episode series. So it obviously has to abridge some stuff, and it just doesn't feel as authentic because of that. So the format that they told it helped the story they were going for, but at, also, at times it also was definitely a detriment. Second thing here, and this is my main problem with the show and this is a larger discussion i i wish the show was more popular only because i wish that we as a as a as a society could be having this conversation and uh i'm still trying to make you know my thoughts about it. i'm still trying to process it because the episode debuted a week ago but uh and this is it i will give credit to the show because in this specific episode there's an episode dedicated to what i'm about to talk about and it takes its time and there are moments like that and those moments are maybe the best of the show where the show really takes its time and uh devotes the the entire energy it, it cuts the frantic act and it just uh digs in with the emotion and so this episode is about the rape of uh miss rhode island i believe that mike tyson uh committed mike tyson raped an 18 i believe year old girl and uh there was a trial he was convicted he went to jail and the show would of course be remiss if it did not um mention these things but it's also a bit of a struggle i'm so i'm very glad the show covered this i actually i didn't know this story before I was not super educated on Mike Tyson's life. I, of course, know him as a boxer, first and foremost, and I am fond of boxing. Uh, but So I'm very glad I know this information. I'm glad the show covered it, and I think they did do it in a, an appropriate way. But the struggle here is uh, Mike Tyson at all, because you have four, I believe four or five episodes before that one, uh, which my, it's Mike Tyson's story, whether it's real or authentic or not, because they didn't consult him, obviously. It's the story of a guy uh, who struggled a lot, who went through a lot of uphill battles, and who prevailed, who became a champion over it all. And you, obviously, he's not a perfect man by any means. He cheats, he's violent, he's, he can be aggressive, but he his story is uh, admirable. And then you get to this part, and it really just all falls apart, because you can no longer see him as the sympathetic individual that you once saw him as because you know that he's done this horrible, unforgivable, horrific thing. And uh, the show just doesn't really feel the same afterwards. And I do feel like it just tries to carry on as though that was a standalone episode. It really doesn't focus on that part of his life uh, much more after that. And uh, I think... It's a struggle that, like, whenever you cover something like that, it's not going to be easy, right? This is obviously a very, very uh, tough thing to reconcile with. And so you have to be open to criticism when you're going to, as a show or as a piece of media or anything like that, cover a subject like this. And uh, I just don't know that... I mean, it's really tough because Mike Tyson is, of course, a nuanced person. There are things about him that are admirable, and there are things about him that are just completely, completely unforgivable and horrific, like uh, that the rape that he committed. And but it's tough to like you can't root for him, right? All that all the rooting that I did at the start just feels so. I feel guilty almost that I was ever rooting for this character. And then afterwards, I don't feel like I can fully uh, be in his corner anymore when he's being abused by his manager or he's dealing with drug issues that, I mean, obviously nobody should have to deal with. 
Um, and it is just, I really, I don't have an answer. I wish I could propose some port of some sort of answer, uh, for a problem like this, but it is just a difficult thing for a show to deal with. And I, I think Mike as well does not necessarily have an answer as a show because it's, uh, and it doesn't paint him as the good guy in that situation. I want to make that very clear. He is definitely seen as sort of the villain of that particular story, that episode, uh, and he, he even turns to the camera at one point and says, not rooting for, I forget what he says, but he breaks the fourth wall. He does that multiple times and he says like, uh, not the good guy anymore or something like that. So the show is clearly aware that um, you might not support him as you did after this episode. Uh, and at the end, there's a, I just finished the final episode uh, maybe 30 minutes ago to an hour. And there is a, a section where he... Uh, discusses it's sort of there's a montage of all this stuff we've seen in the show and it makes clear that he's a complicated person Uh, we all are we are all complicated nuanced people and he has to come to terms with that and um, like that's true that's fine and all but the fact of the matter is that you raped a person you you can't like this is not something that is just you know, I'm, I can be a good and bad person. That is a, that is a horrible, horrible, horrific thing. And, um, again, I don't have an answer because he is a nuanced person. Does his story not warrant being told because he did that? I don't know. That's up for you to decide. Uh, but I just know that I didn't necessarily feel comfortable with his full story after having seen that he'd done that. And I don't know how the show could have alleviated that. You know, I don't know how the show could have, uh, kept him as the sympathetic sympathetic version of himself while also displaying that he did this horrific thing without lying to make him seem like the good guy in that situation. That's the only way that I can really think of that they could have done that. Um, and it's horrible. It really is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, that being said, I'm really sorry to have left this review on, I guess, a downer. Um, but Mike is a, I, I, I'll, I, I was entertained for the most part, or I would have stopped watching. Uh, It's quick. It's not my favorite. Again, style, I've said all that. Uh, Super flashy. But the story of Mike Tyson is, of course, an interesting one. And um, despite my problems with it and the general conversation that I think probably should be had at some point about how we portray these kinds of things in media, I'm going to give Mike Tyson a low B because, uh, I mean, I'd be lying if I gave it anything else. I enjoyed it enough to watch it. I found the contents of it very interesting. I learned a lot about Mike Tyson. And uh, I don't think I'll ever return to the show. I would love to see a different interpretation of Mike Tyson's life uh, done at some point. Hopefully that Jamie Foxx one goes through. I'd really like to see what he can do with the the character of Mike Tyson. Um, But that's my thoughts on the Hulu show Mike. All right, guys, there it is. Uh, If you've seen the show, please let me know what you thought down below. You probably haven't because most people haven't. Uh, But, you know, it's quick. It's if you like history, if you like boxing, if you like Mike Tyson, it's probably worth checking out. Uh, So that's my review, folks. I've been EDP The Reviews. You've been just the absolute best. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.